I think we'll start this out with an example. What the hell are changes? You're going to have a cat. I'm, I'm a bit loud. You grab by the function. Well, yeah, right. we might be wrong. <laughs> no. uh, we're funny, but not always. No. Welcome back to the Behavior Beast. This time we are going to talk about the weird, elusive, and totally kind of funky S Delta. And we're going to do it using an awesome basketball game. Go Zags! Alright folks, welcome back to the Behavior Beast. I know that uh, I've already given you an intro for this video, but um, here's another one. Uh, this is about discriminative stimuli. <laughs> no, it's actually about uh, S Deltas. Okay, but S Deltas and discriminative stimuli interact with each other. Alright, so remember when we're developing stimulus control, and once stimulus control is developed, once we have a discriminated offering, in other words, we have behavior occurring in one context um, and not in another, right? And then the reinforcement occurs in that context. So there's your discriminated offering. Well, you have to also realize that when that, when that stimulus isn't present, that scenario is called an S delta. So there's no signal for reinforcement at the moment for a particular behavior. The video that this is in the context of is the basketball game, right? So our home team, the Zags, they're awesome, we love them, right? But the crowd cheers against the other team when they're trying to make a free throw, okay? So if you watch that video carefully, what you'll see is that the other team's getting ready, they go up for a free throw, right? So when they go up for that free throw, everybody's going, Aah! and they're screaming, you can see the guy's hands, and they're waving, they're doing all this crazy stuff. And they go up for that free throw, and as soon as that ball leaves the guy's hands, that's dealt. Why? Because now there's no longer reinforcement available for the crowd trying to boo the dude, right? Trying to get him to miss. So when that happens, if you continue to go and make crazy stuff, there's no reinforcers for that. The ball's already on its trajectory. It's gonna make it or it's gonna not. So watch carefully with that video and you will see that ball go up and they start to, they go down and like the volume of the crowd goes down, the people in front of the camera go down, you know, their hands kind of go down. And when the ball makes it, almost dead silence, right? Why? Well, because there's really no reinforcers available for any sort of cheering on the home team at that moment. Uh, there's a couple of uh, pieces in there and uh, the words will help you understand what's going on. We got some arrows going to where stuff is. So anyway, I hope it made some sense for you. S Delta is a tricky concept, but it's really about what happens when no SD is present. So signaling that no reinforcers are available for a particular response at this moment. That's all there is. See ya.